One year into the Meta News ban, local media outlets are still trying to recapture lost readership. We find ourselves with lower views and lower engagement. Two of our most crucial parts that we need for a happy, healthy newspaper brand. And it's not just journalists who are impacted. It's the community because they are the ones who are coming to us for their content. And if they can't see it, they don't always know where to go. Ottawa tried to level the playing field between tech giants and news organizations. Today, I'm announcing the next steps for the Online News Act. But when the federal government challenged Meta, the company didn't blink. Unfortunately, Meta continues to completely abdicate any responsibility towards uh, democratic institutions and even stability. The result? A new study shows people are still going to social media for news, but engaging 43 percent less with Canadian media companies. To have that completely disappear overnight is deeply problematic for democracy and, and does make us more vulnerable in a variety of ways. At a time when disinformation, foreign interference are, are, are top concerns for Canadians. What's also worrying? This researcher says the majority of Canadians don't know Meta is blocking news articles. So what this means is that Canadians are kind of sleepwalking into this world where they might get all of their information from Facebook and Instagram and they're not they're not actually coming into contact with original reporting. And how are you enjoying the paper? Yeah, it's great. With no resolution in this battle on the horizon, publications remain caught in the crossfire. I don't think um, any of the decision makers quite realize the impact that this has on brands like ours. Small community driven papers hit the hardest. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, Ottawa.